So we've done you a little way up of flour, oats, some baking powder and some salt. Very basic ingredients for a typical soda bread. This is spelt flour. It does have a gluten content, but it has a lot of flavour. We use quite a bit of spelt flour. It's milled up at Can Mill in Shaftesbury. I don't know if any of you know, know um, the producer up there, Michael Stoke, who, who does a range of organic flours. And he sources quite a lot of his wheat and spelt from the UK, which is really, really good. Because the majority of stuff on the market contains you know, a, a large percentage of imported uh, wheat from Canada and America and so forth. So he, he's, a, he's a good guy and we support him a bit of power from him. Has anyone made soda bread before? Yeah, so fairly, fairly straightforward. We, instead of using a kind of fermenting leaven or, or a commercially produced yeast, we're using baking powder as the, as the raising agent. So it can be done very, very quickly. <coughs> you don't need to work the dough in the same way that you would with a yeasted bread made with strong bread flour. It's uh, actually better if you work it less. It has a, a slightly shorter, more tender crumb. So we're going to flavour it up with a few things, as I was uh, explaining earlier. We've got some apples from, from our orchard which has actually produced a few more than you know, it has done in, in, in the years to date. So we're quite pleased with that. They go in. I haven't even skinned them. It's fairly rustic. We're going to add some uh, sage. Sage and apples are always a nice combination. And a little bit of thyme which you should have on your stations. Time can just be bruised into the, into the mix. Stripped off the, the, the slightly coarser stalk, of course. It doesn't really need chopping though, because it's quite small. Really. Just a Yeah, it does smell nice, it's just been picked for the time. Sage. We have got a knife roll with a knife in it. And there's boards over there, so you want to chop your sage up to it. Yeah, it so that goes in. Fennel seat. Totally optional, you don't have to put it in. It's quite nice with apple and fennel. Um, the fresh bulb, of course, but the seed as well. And just, just whole, I'm going to put them in. They are quite kind of toothy. You know, nice, nice. There's some cheddar or, or goat's cheese. So I'm going, to, I'm going to put a bit of goat's cheese. You can put, I think the goat's cheese will be nice with the, with the spelt flour and the thyme and honey. Goat's cheese and honey, obviously a great combo. So, a little bit of runny honey, sweeten it. Salt's already in there. Black priest that you picked, go in like that. So you've got this really quite autumnal mix. Lovely and colourful. Sweet, crunchy. You've got your. Yeah. This. <laughs> your buttermilk, okay, which should approximately be 200 mils. If you start with 500 mils of, uh, of cream, you usually get 200 mils of buttermilk, give or take, which is the right amount for this amount of flour. Okay. That goes in. And then we're just going to work that together. 
You don't really need to get in there with your hands necessarily unless you want to. Or there'll be emails, one or the other. I'm not sure. Let me check. Yeah. 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 So as I say, you don't need to really work with overwork. It's quite sticky, but that's all good. I think the wetter soda of bread tends to be a better one. Take the tray, which will give you. You can grease it with a little bit of your butter. So we don't get any sticking going on. Take your old dough. And we're just going to form it into a rough round. Yeah? Yep. Like this. Fairly typical. Four, you know, three or four centimetres thick. Something like that. Okay. And then we're going to finish it with a little bit of extra spelt flour. Just over the top, I'd say. A little bit of cheese. You like? Right. And then we're going to put a cross in it in a fairly traditional manner, which helps the heat drive in, helps it open up. Once you've done that, it can go straight in the oven. I hope they're still on. They should be on 200 degrees. And we'll leave them in for about 25 minutes, something like that. All over.